what the hell my tv screen is so dirty i need to get one of those so special uh, cleaners i've got sort of the cloth but i need to get uh whatever the thing is that you clean it with whatever You want to see my brother's champagne glass? So, <laughs> he doesn't have his raspberries. Um, I'm actually not sure if he likes raspberries. Maybe it's that. I know when I was a little girl, he, uh, you know, like if he has toast or something like that, he won't, he won't eat, you know, the part that you're holding on to. Um, I think he says it's because there's acid, just natural acid in our skin. So he won't eat whatever he's holding the toast with so uh but raspberries was just in his glass to sip so <laughs> i don't know maybe he doesn't uh, like raspberries uh here is <laughs> some little remnants of faded grandeur so uh, my parents have just left about half an hour or so ago uh, we watched uh, the film madam x and um uh, which was nice they bought it over um, actually about two weeks ago something like that uh, with my sister and uh, her children her little boys and yes I had to keep my nephews quiet while we watched um well they bought over Madam X so we could watch that the 1966 film but um I really wanted everybody to see Mrs Harris Goes to Paris which is my new classic film so uh, we watched that instead and I've been feeling really ever so bad ever since because you know like yeah, I don't want to be selfish, and I know they wanted me to see that film, so, yeah, anyway, but everybody, everybody enjoyed um, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, um, my nephews were playing Lego on the floor, and um, so I had to sort of keep them uh, sort of uh, quiet, but we all had a good time, and um, uh, I think the next day my sister was uh, performing in an international uh, shooting competition, yeah, and so uh, they had to be dropped off very early the next morning. So, yeah, so, but we all had a good time. And, um, uh, yeah, so anyway, so today was the day that we watched Madam X. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I know my father loves uh, sort of very early, uh, sort of 50s period, you know, uh, films, even though this was from the 60s. But, yeah, sort of very, yeah, 50s, 60s uh, era. And, um yeah, so I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, it was actually quite funny because um, so they're on this sort of new diet. They're extremely fussy. And I bought uh, some Dr. Edgar pizzas, which is my favorite pizzas. And this one here is uh, mozzarella. And I have spinach ones. Anyway, so I know they're extremely fussy. <laughs> they bring their own food with them, which they did once again. And uh, anyway, so I thought, I want some drinks. I've been working all week. So, um, you know, and so I, my father said, you know, if you want some drinks, it's okay. I said, look, I'm just going over the hill. Um, my father doesn't actually drink. And uh, my mother surprises me when it comes to, <laughs> uh, to the alcohol. So, yeah, so I said, oh, I'll just uh, go over the hill. I won't be long. And yeah, so, um, so I went and bought some Prosecco because my mother was interested in this one here, which is my favorite, uh, this one here, here. and uh, she likes the bottle. <laughs> and so that is my favorite drink, Prosecco, and so I, you know, I just raised over the hill and I got uh, this one here, which I don't believe I've ever tried before. Yeah, it's just a Prosecco from Italian, and uh, so I got that one there. So she's uh, I popped the cork on that and she drank the whole thing. This is Mama's glass here. And she ate her raspberries. She loves her berries, let me tell you. And this one's mine because I was running around and I just have it, had a little sip. But I also bought my favorite, which is a Swedish cider, which is in a strawberry and lime taste. And yeah, as you can see, Mama has finished all of hers. And uh, I've also had mine. <laughs> uh, that is my favorite. So mama, mama and mine, and yeah, once again, my father doesn't drink, so yeah, so, and then this one here, 
and Mama was interested about the Galliano, which I don't think she tried it, but yeah, and she wanted to literally, I pulled out every liqueur in my Swedish cabinet, uh, all of my liqueur. So yeah, once again, Mama surprises me and they do not eat sugar. Uh, so when I was down there, I popped into the cheesecake shop and I wanted to buy a strawberry tort, <laughs> but I stood there and I'm like, they're not gonna eat any of this. They do not eat sugar. And I get back and I said to Mama, you know, I walked into the cake shop. I wanted to get this one. And she goes, oh, you should have got it. And I said, what are you telling me? <laughs> now you tell me. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, they do not eat sugar, let me tell you. So, yeah, so they enjoy the pizza. So that's nice. At least I know they eat that. And uh, when, <laughs> it was funny, when uh, I I left them here, they had the air conditioning on. And um <laughs> I left Mama with some of my vintage, so French magazines, and um, she used to do her holidays in in the uh, in the south of France, in the country there. And uh, when when I walked back in, uh, they were on opposite sides of the room, and uh, my father was reading the London book, and um, and my mother was reading the Paris book. So it's just sort of the imagery in here is just beautiful, and my father's going on about he'd love to spend three months of the year in, uh, in England and uh, yeah my mother is obviously British uh, she's still a British uh, German British citizen EC citizen to this day so uh, they can do that if they wanted to and uh, also I just got this one here which I have not uh, popped open because I would have allowed to try that one but we haven't uh, opened that one because um uh, she probably knows very much uh, the Moscato, which is the one my sister drinks, which is very sweet. And I do not like sweet wines. I like uh, the, uh, the dry sort of white wines. And um, yeah, <laughs> that is the one that Cleopatra drank. And then over here, um, <laughs> my father was going through my Montreal book. And I was showing Mama before she left. And uh, when I walked in from the bottle store... She was, she was going on about postcards, so I don't know if they were snooping. I don't know. It's okay if they're snooping, I don't mind. It's my parents. Uh, so, yeah, she was having, she was very interested in postcards and can you make your own postcards and this sort of thing. So, I, I pulled out some of my postcards from uh, my trips to Canada. And um, I have multiple copies. Of, yeah, I sort of <laughs> um, bought and that's the thing. So, I gave her... Um, as a picture of me at a uh, hotel de ville in montreal and um yeah and uh, i gave her some postcards and i came across one from uh, quebec city and i said oh, i actually didn't go to quebec city she goes no no i want one where you've been <laughs> so so i gave her one of i think it's bon Casseur markets or something like that which is actually on the cover of this book here and that's a book of store markets in the old port of Montreal. So, yeah, so, yeah, and uh, my father was enjoying uh, those biscuits. It's funny because um, I got those biscuits because it has my name on there. And my nephews, who were little, um, they were enjoying the biscuits, which is lavender taste. And I said to we're all laughing because I said to Mama, they're little. If only they knew how much these biscuits cost, they're a little bit... Uh, they're a little bit steep because they're British, obviously. And um, so I, I, when I finish them, or my nephews, <laughs> I polish them off. I, I put uh, my favorite biscuits, biscuits, which is the ones that I get on Air Canada. My father loves uh, the cinnamon taste, so he was enjoying this. So I get them some of that, and yeah. So yes, yeah, so we had a nice uh, sort of evening, and um. Yeah, so now I'm going to watch a movie that I bought last night from the BBC, which I haven't had a chance yet to to watch and clean uh, this sort of uh, <laughs> little party that we had. And uh, yeah, so Lennon uh, watched a nice movie, which is set in the 1920s, which is my favourite era. <laughs> and yeah, um, so... I think it is raining outside, which is, yeah, so lovely. So lovely, yeah. So I've had um, a very big week. I had to see my doctor last Friday because um, 
uh, because I had to. <laughs> and uh, I walked to my doctor and he said to me, he's closing the door, he goes, have you been in Canada? And he's like smiling or laughing. He's like, have you been in Canada? I'm like, no. And I tell him the story there. And um, yeah, anyway, so I had my doctor and yeah, I've been working all weeks. So it's been a busy bee and yeah, so I've had lots going on. And um, yeah, so now, yeah, sort of the weekend so I can enjoy that and uh, have a nice time and get back to uh yeah, get back in the swing of things, everything that I'm doing and get back to my, um, my sister. <laughs> and yeah, so also I have nothing else to say. I'll end this video here. I just thought that was funny about, um, my father leaving the raspberries in his glass. I guess he doesn't like raspberries, <laughs> but I love berries. Yeah. And blueberries and just every sort of berry. I just... This is so funny. <laughs> and Mama ate all of hers. And she drank cider. Like, yeah, Mama is like not scared to try anything. She doesn't like certain things. Like she doesn't, she doesn't especially like flying, which is the opposite of me. And she doesn't like uh, elevators though. Yeah, she's, uh, I probably have more of a fear of elevators than her. Um, so yeah, it's weird. She's, she's very, <laughs> so funny with Mama because uh, she's always been extremely curious of uh, whatever I've 